Hey guys, this is Scott Coon, and today's topic is how does chemotherapy, in theory, cure cancer? And so what we have to do is look back to where did chemotherapy come from? And it actually was during World War I and World War II um, when we were looking at mustard gas that the Germans were using against the Allies. And they discovered that, you know, after a whole, in World War II, a whole group of people were uh, saturated with mustard gas and when they did some tests on them they found out that they had very low white blood cell counts. Now that's very important because the scientists knew back then that you know typically in the body if, if you have cancer the white blood cells would naturally cure or kill any uh, foreign body or foreign matter that um, it's able to but there's a little shell around a cancer cell that does a, a little polarity shift and so you know when a white blood cell comes it's like like a magnet it's got the same polarity as cancer so as the, the cancer comes in to try and eat up the cancer um, it can't it's being pushed away by like a magnetic pole okay so you know with chemotherapy they noticed or with uh, the muscle gas they noticed the white blood cells were very low after the mustard gas. So what they decided was, well, hey, if the white blood cells are going away, maybe it will do the same thing with cancer cells. So they took some cancer patients at the time, and they injected them with mustard gas. And sure enough, it got rid of all the, the, uh, the cancer cells, but the problem was <laughs> it also killed the patient. And so, and that's been the problem with chemotherapy, which is a derivative from that mustard gas, is it's a highly toxic, you know, they have to use so many precautions because, you know, if it touches them, it could kill people. And they <laughs> inject that into your body. And chemotherapy is not designed to kill cancer. Chemotherapy is designed to kill everything that it touches. And when everything is said and done, the cancer is going to be part of the things that get eaten away as well as the rest of your body and your tissue and all that kind of stuff and then the body would naturally just regenerate and heal that area and then the cancer would be gone now as most of us have known from the last 80 years of chemotherapy being used um, it's not very effective and I've done lots of articles on the effectiveness of chemotherapy with all chemotherapy put together um, there is about what 2.1 percent success rate okay now a placebo effect typically is about 40 percent okay so no drugs ever get passed that don't, don't they have less than a 40 percent success rate except for chemotherapy drugs and I'm very curious why they make that exception and there's probably a whole lot of money in. Actually, I know there's a whole lot of money involved, and that's why that is. But there are very safe alternatives. So uh, go check out one of my other videos, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.